Good afternoon, FS Club, Walkman Channel, and welcome to the new mod showcase. We didn't get as many mods as I thought we would on this Friday. The good thing, though, is that there's actually some pretty good ones. The first Shred E516 from AAA Modding, or how about the very first mod update that actually allows passengers? And that mod would be from 82 Square Studio and his Max Superliner X. But before we get into any of these mods, make sure to pound that like button. Let's get to 200 likes to end the week. Well, talked enough. Roll that intro. Let's go. On the greatest show, so make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot. Bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our name. Okay, so here we go with the new mods for today. Let's see the all platform ones. The first one we have is a brand new map to all platforms. This is the Rombos Road, and this is from JM Gaming. It is 194.59 megabytes. Description on it says, Welcome to the Rombos Road. You are in France in the breeding region of the Comatose Horse, probably butcher that name, but also an area where the famous cheese, I'm not even going to try to say, is produced. Uh, this map includes 60 arable fields of all sizes, 20 pastures, 20 forest areas, 5 ready to use slots to build your own farm, 3 stores to sell your productions, one sawmill in easy mode you have a fully equipped farm also says explore the forest you will find smugglers stories cultivate large plots of up to 30 hectare acres or focus on cattle breeding to produce cheese okay one required mod for this though is you do need the placeable power lines from top ace 888 uh let's go ahead and turn on the game audio so here we go i need to actually turn on the hud let me turn the hud on real quick um GS HUD. There we go. Okay, HUD's back on. Okay, so here is exactly where you start off. Uh, let's go over to the map. So here is the map. Uh, let's see, looks like your starting farm is right over here. So the area you own is this one uh, 35, 40. I don't think that one has a number, but yeah, uh, looks like you have a starting farm right here. Productions, we got a carpentry. We got a sawmill. Anything else? Yes, looks like some more stuff right down here. We have a dairy, of course, to make that cheese. You got a bakery. Um, what's up here? Looks like this vehicle shop. Uh, looks like another cell points. I think that is about it. Beehive honey. So it looks like you got uh, beehives on here. So here is your starting farm. Let's see. Is there any extra crops or anything? Um, it doesn't look like it. But you see different kind of like grass textures. Not used to seeing stuff like this. Uh, here is, looks like a wheat field. Uh, why isn't my info actually popping up? Um, let me go to field infos on. Is, does this not recognize it as a field? I guess not, I guess it's just grass, but it is not labeled as a field. So sleep trigger right over here. Uh, we have of course this right here. Uh, let's see, starting vehicles, you have, actually, you have quite a few starting vehicles. Wow, you actually got big sprayer, lots and lots of stuff on here. Uh, lots of cloths on here. And yeah, uh, let me go to the vehicle workshop. So let's go right up to here. So here is the vehicle workshop right here. As you see there, this place is like very open. So if you want to put down, you know, your own productions or whatever you want to, you can. But anyways, that is, well, the Rombos Road. Let's get to the regular mods for today. Okay, so the regular mods for today, the first one we have is something I've been waiting for a while. This is the Fershrit E516 Harvester Pack. It includes, of course, the Harvester, the E516, which is $89,000. Uh, let's see, 228 horsepower, 300 liters of fuel, 15 miles an hour, holds up to, well, the base is 4,500. Uh, let's see, configuration, you got standard, you got the E516 blue, the E516B blue, the E516 light brown, the E516B light brown, uh, the E516 brown, the E516B brown, and we also got green, and then B brown. Will Brands, you got lizard, you got BKT, lizard, you got standard, or you got the L31R20s, the 16R20s, the R34s, and the crawler track. Well, those are very unique crawler tracks right there. Uh, let me actually get those just to see. Capacity, you got 4,500, or you got 5,500 right there. 
Uh, rim color, you either got white, light green, yellow, or red. I don't know about these crawler tracks. I'm not, I'm not much into the whole craw crawler tracks. Let's just go with that. Okay, and let's go with the rim color as the white. Okay, then of course we got the header, which is a 6.7 working meter header, $21,000. Uh, let's see, divider tips one, two, uh, decals one or two. Main color, you either got blue, brown, light brown, or green. Let's go for the light brown. Uh, of course, we got the header trailer, which is the T936, which is $1,550. Uh, let's see, you got main color, you got all those colors right there. And then, of course, you got the rim color right there. And then we also have a corn header for this one, 4.6 working meters, $17,000. Uh, let's see, options on this one, you have design standard, the SZ6, and then back to standard. Uh, let's see, main color, you have pretty much any color, so if you wanted to have it as Sam's Pink, you can have it as, sorry, not Sam's Pink, I mean Sam's Purple. You can have it as Sam's Purple. Uh, then, of course, you also got a Sunflower header, which is the NA670, which is 6.7 working meters, 19,500. Uh, decals, you got one, you got two, and then you can change the main color. You got brown, uh, you got light brown, and you got green. Or design color, you have any color on that one. So let's actually take a look at this in game. Let's go all the way over here. Been at, I loved this harvester in uh, FS19. I'm glad it made its way over here. Oh, the sounds on that. Wow. Okay, let me actually... Let me get in here. Let me... Ooh, the door opens and shuts. There we go. That opens. Jeez, a lot of animations. Okay, lights. One, two, three, four. Four sets of lights. One rotating beacon on the top. Uh, let me bring this up real quick. Uh, I got to turn that engine on first. So I'll move quiet so you guys can hear that engine. Pretty good engine sounds, of course. Okay, so let's turn that back over. Here's the interior. Everything lights up on the interior. Okay, uh, let's see. Unfold, so let's unfold it. The ladder comes down. Disable straw swath, which does that. Of course, as you see right there, there is also a hitch right there. Uh, pipe out. Doesn't look like there's a light underneath the pipe. Okay, so bring that one back in. It doesn't look like anything from those either. Okay. Let's go ahead and hook up the header to it. Top speed is 15 miles an hour. Okay, so the header is on. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Look at all the moving parts on it. You see all the like belts and stuff moving? Lots of moving parts. Jeez. Fantastic job on this mod right here. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Freshret E516 Harvester. After that, the last regular mod we have for today for all platforms is the Quickie Bag Lifter Pack from Nico Pix. Uh, includes the single, the dual, and the triple. Let's just go to the dual. Uh, we got the height of arm, 0 centimeters, 17, 34, 51, all the way up to 51. Attacher type, you got front loader, telehandler, and then back to front loader. Main color, you have any color on that. It's probably going to be the same thing with all of these, 51. And this one, you can't adjust that one. That one goes 51 too. Okay, so that is it of the regular mods for today. Let's get to these placeables. Okay, so here we go with the first placeable for today, and this is the Cow Shed Pack from 20mm Normandy. All right, so let's go and take a look at this one. This one is actually the biggest one. There's actually two of them. So if we go over to animals, go to cow sheds, we have this one right here, which is only 140,000. This one holds 70 cows. I like how it's like almost in the ground a little bit. Definitely make sure your area is flat like I didn't do right there. Uh, then, of course, we got the bigger one, which holds 140 cows. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a few cows right here. Let's just get, you know, just 60 cows, just a few. Now you definitely hear them. Does this gate open? Okay, how does that gate open? Let me actually bring this up real quick. Um, maybe you gotta go in here and open it. So let's go right here. 
And close door. Okay, I guess that doesn't open. Thought it would. Huh. Okay, but anyways, here is where the cows are. So, of course, you can bring your food and stuff in here. Okay, wait a minute. If that door doesn't... Okay, this door should open. Let's see. Yep, that door does open. Like I said, make sure your land is flat. Because if you don't, you're going to get what I just got right here. I like uh, how, how it's actually situated. Right, let me get over here and then of course we got more cows right over here okay then of course this does give you you know milk straw slurry of course you got to put down something for your manure right there okay but anyways like i said you can find it under animals under cows and there they are right there 300 cent rotation on that okay the next one we have is the diesel production pack from mtl modding team this is it, the production pack with which you can produce your own diesel this can be stored and refueled thanks to the Hoff tank shell. I think that's how you say that. Furthermore, it is possible to sell the diesel via the freely placeable trigger. So the pack contains, of course, the diesel production, the quartz petrol station, point of sell, transport trailers MKS-8, and the MKS-32. All right, so of course, if we go over here, let's see the production. Make diesel, you need 500 sunflower, 500, think that's canola, and 250 soybeans. Makes you 1,500 uh, liters of fuel. So that is pretty nice right there. And then, of course, you know, you put all your stuff into there and you get it out right there. And then you should be able to use it to fill up any of your tractors. And also to transport it, it also comes with, let's go over here, let's go under diesel production pack. You got the MKS-8. And you got the MKS-32, which, of course, those hold different liquids, too, on that. You can actually put a C diesel and fuel right there. So that is nice. And then if you go over here, it also comes with an area to, you know, basically store it, if I'm not mistaken. Or you can buy it, whichever one. And then also comes with an area you can actually sell your fuel, which how much does fuel go to? Let's see. I, am th I think I'm on easy right now. But... Let's see. Usually I do normal. Let me go to normal real quick. Um, where is that? Normal. Okay, right down there. Let me see. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Actually, I don't see fuel on the list. Probably just passed it up or something. Um, diesel, right there. Okay. So, diesel sell $4,000. Wow. You're going to make some money off of that. Okay, but anyways, that is the diesel production pack. Where can you find all this stuff? Let's see. The production building, of course, under productions. It is right there. It's $170,000. And then the selling points, which is right there. It is $100. And then the container one would be under containers. And there it is right there. $26,500. And it holds 250,000 liters. Okay, and now the next mod we have is the radio tower. And this is from Carl TG. Uh, let's see, the price is $25,800, upkeep is $10 a day, and of course you get income for this. So where can you find this? Let's go under the build menu, let's go under productions, generators, and there it is right there, 67872 I believe it's actually that much no matter what mode you play, play on. So you get a pretty good amount of money every single month, yeah. Okay, so that is the radio tower, we got one more placeable mod to get to. Okay, the last placeable mod we have for all platforms for today is the Horman Hall 18x9. This is from Philip Player 54 uh, It's just a really pretty much a storage you can put in, you know, any of your grains or anything you want. Where can you find this? Let's go under Sheds. All the way right here. It is $80,000 and free rotation on that one. So that right there, guys, is all the mods for today. Let me know which one was you guys' favorite. I'm probably either going to have to say the diesel production or, of course, the Frustrate E516. Okay, now let's get to those updates we have. And then we did get one PC-only mod for today. Okay, so here we go with the updates for today. And let's start off with the biggest update for today. And that is the Max Superliner X from AT Square Studio. What did this add? Passenger seat support. So this is the very first mod with passenger seat support. But remember, it does require the Kubota DLC. So of course you have to have the Kubota DLC and you have to have the Kubota DLC activated for it to work. Uh, let's see, it also added a rear hitch, an adjustable fifth wheel and fixes on it, gearbox ratios and minor fixes and changes. Then after that one, we have the storage piles for earth, fruits and stones. What changed on this one? Small and medium warehouses added. 
Then we have an update from Missy B. This is the grain quid storage. Uh, change log in this one. Reconfigured silo capacity. Updated and repositioned the snow mass. New liquid silo and added Swedish translation. And then the very, very last one for today we have is the multi sign. Let's see, change along. This one is fixed i3D model. So that is everything for all platforms for today. We have one PC mod to go over. So here it is. Okay, so here we go with the only PC mod for today, and this is the Matrot BM6 from Simulator Games. Let's see, it is 4.7 tons, uh, 66 kilowatts or 90 horsepower is required for that. 4.7 working meters, 7 miles an hour, and let's see, it is $9,000. Let's see, Wilbur, you got 12 board, you got BKT, oh, wow, there's a lot of wheels on this thing. Uh, and then no wheel setup on this, and of course, this is a mulcher. Well, that was the new mods for today. Not a bad week in new mods. Definitely can tell mods are starting to slow down. No more 50 to 60 new mod videos. Well, today's schedule is, of course, a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Hope to see you all in there. Remember, if you guys did enjoy the video, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. And from me to you, welcome to the club. See you tonight. Peace. Stumbling out of bed and I'm Got you in my head from all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I